x, where the function y equals f of x, um, as noted below, is not differentiable and explain why. So we can see here that there are lots of things going on in this function. And we're first going to take a look at what happens when x is equal to negative 6. So when x is equal to negative 6, we'll notice here that there's a break in the graph. So there's that jump discontinuity. And even we might say that there is almost an infinite discontinuity here because as x approaches um, negative 6 from the left hand side um, it's going to go towards negative infinity and as x approaches uh, negative 6 from the right hand side it's going to go to positive infinity so we can see in this case when x is equal to negative 6 we have an infinite break And now we're going to take a look at what happens when x is equal to negative 2 because we can see there that there's this sharp sort of corner that's happening. So at x equals negative 2, um, we have the function that sort of curves up and then very sharply it then starts to curve down. Um, and so that's going to be another point where it's going to be discontinuous or there's not going to be differentiable. So at x is equal to negative 2, um, that's what we consider a corner cusp. So this is a, a cusp. And then we want to take a look at what is happening at 0. So when x is equal to 0, we have what appears to be another like jump discontinuity. Um, so it's approaching um, infinity here or even negative 2 if we want to say. And then it's approaching 6 on the right hand side. Um, so we can say that at x equals 0, um, it's not going to be differentiable because we have that jump discontinuity. Now we're going to take a look at what happens when x is equal to 2 because we see here that we have that cusp again. So when we have the cusp, it's not going to be differentiable. And lastly, I know it's hard to see, but we're going to have um, another undifferentiable point at x is equal to 6. Um, because if I was to draw the tangent line there, it's going to be undefined. The slope of that line will be undefined. And so that's an example of the infinite slope point. So at x is equal to 6, we're going to have an infinite slope point.